the way he plays, the way he played that night, he could be a big problem for them. But they don't lack experience and quality. And none better than the little Brazilian. The Sombreros are out again. A big travelling support behind Celtic. A massive chance for the champions in waiting. A massive challenge. Neil Lennon will be key to Celtic's hopes in terms of keeping possession and dictating the tempo and the shape of the game as well. There are bound to be nerves for the likes of John Kennedy. Barcelona against Celtic, part two underway. Celtic with the one goal advantage, courtesy of Alan Thompson's first leg goal. He's certainly got all the makings of a great game, Rob. Tremendous setting, tremendous atmosphere inside the stadium. A nervous one here from Jackie McNamara. I don't think that's what David Marshall wanted as his first back pass. He was immediately put under pressure. But he did well not to concede the corner. And Celtic managed to deal with the throw from Reisiger. Chris Sutton back in the side. Carlos Puyol. Ronaldinho's pass. Brilliant save by David Marshall. Stops Celtic going one behind inside the first minute. That's a tremendous stop from the young goalkeeper. He just stretched out a hand to make an instinctive save. It was a glorious chance for Barcelona to get in front. Great pass from Ronaldinho for the young goalkeeper, that's good for him. That'll certainly help his confidence, get him to relax just a little bit. But you can see right from the start of the game, Barcelona are up for this one. Desperate to do well, this is the chance. But watch the young goalkeeper. Full stress, because a full hand to the ball. That's a first-class save. It's good ball winning from Neil Lennon. Doing what he does so well. It's a great tackle from Neil Lennon. But did he a gap then? That's the second time in the game he's, he's given the possession away easily. I say something, I've got to try and hold on to the ball, get up to, to Chris Hunt and Henrik Larsson. Unlucky was Petrov, good challenge from John Kennedy, break on for Celtic, Henrik Larsson. Barcelona defence stretched, good recovery from Puyol. That was very promising for Celtic, and what a brilliant. Chappy. As Barcelona break away, they've got options on here. Gerard was breaking from the midfield, Ronaldinho was an option, now gets it. Ronaldinho's cross for Gerard. It's another good save from David Marshall, again it's that combination. Gerard's effort, Marshall save. That's another great save from the young keeper, good header. Oliver joins the attack for Barcelona, looking to test out David Marshall again. Five in the box for the home team. In from Xavi. I didn't like the look of the marking there from Celtic, but no damage done for now. It was a terrific ball, swung over the head of Marshall, and it had to be dealt with. Lewis gets here down the, the left-hand side this time, just works this one in. Young David Marshall's not too sure, so he picks the right option. If he can't catch, if he's not certain, just make sure he knocks it away. Keeps his eye on the ball. Chubby's going to kick! Again, it's Marshall! An unbelievable display from the young Celtic goalkeeper in these opening stages we've played. Only 12 minutes, and already he's had a string of superb saves. He's had to start the game well, young keeper. 
Luis Enrique that time. Only a couple of yards, very dangerous break forward. Chris Sutton holds it up well. Deflected in and cleared by Chabi. That's Stan Varga. In goes Jackie McNamara, well won against Luis Garcia. Varga again with the distribution from the back. Chris Sutton did so well to make that his. Henrik Larsson was trying to square that one to Stephen Pearson. That was better from Celtic. This is better. Stephen Pearson tries to force his way through. Out comes Valdez, the ball spinning clear. Luis Garcia tries to spark a counter attack. Ronaldinho's pass with quality written all over it and just a fraction away from being perfect. Just too much on that one. But you can see that. The Celtic attack fizzles out. This match being played at a furious pace. No doubt the referee's mind there. Watch them. Ray away, said no penalty, got the ball. In goes Luis Garcia. McNamara had to play it. Didi Agat shepherds it clear of the danger area and just for a moment there, indecision almost caught Celtic out. I wonder what Steve Archibald is thinking about this. He's with Chick. Stevie, you're really concerned about the way Celtic are sitting at the back, aren't you? Just a wee bit concerned, Chick. I'm looking at Jackie McNamara, who's playing a little bit deeper than the other three. I think he's maybe a bit concerned about the Luis Garcia's uh, pace the boy's playing against him, but he has to keep his line. The other three, they're standing up. And Jackie's got to be up with him, and it could cause a problem. What have you made of, of that Barcelona's opening spell? Well, they've got a bit of possession. They're, they're playing little balls, they're playing patient football. But you can hear the fans are getting on the back a wee bit. They want to see some results at the end of that patient group. I've not seen them yet. Michael Reiser goes cross. Headed clear by John Kennedy. Back in it comes from Gabri. It's Kennedy again. And the long range effort fielded on the bounce by Marshall, struck by Chabi. Young Celtic goalkeeper keeping his eye on the ball. Long range effort. Maybe a little sign of frustration there from Barcelona happened from that distance. And it goes without saying, Sandy, that Celtic will be happy with 0 0. Frank Rijkaard won't, but uh, Celtic no. will. No, the uh, Martin will be delighted to get to half time. Still that one goal in front from, from Celtic Park. Cuckoo's pass picks out Ronaldinho. Played into. That vacant area into which Gerard has moved frequently. Ronaldinho stopped at the edge of the area by John Kennedy. That's a terrific bit of defending from the 20-year-old. How he's rising to the challenge here. Rob, it was an unbelievable challenge from John Kennedy. Ronaldinho just on the edge of the box. He's so dangerous, you're afraid to touch him because he does go down so easily. You could give away a penalty kick, but John Kennedy timed that one to perfection again. Well, before the feat. match, Sandy, we were speaking yep. about pressure on Marshall, pressure on Kennedy. It's the two youngsters, in many respects, who've got Celtic through here. They've both played exceptionally well, and we'll have to continue if, if Celtic are going to get a result. We've played nearly a minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half. A further minute to be played. Neil Lennon. Henrik Larsson was moving in the opposite direction, he was offside as well. Play goes on, though. Rafa Marquez, first-half substitute for Barcelona. Gabri on the overlap. Ronaldinho lifts it in. Luis Garcia. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. And Michael Reisiger's effort is deflected wide, it's a corner. That was a good play from Barcelona. Ronaldinho involved again. Jackie McNamara having to tuck in to help his central defenders there. That's why Luis Garcia is going to so much room in the right hand side. 90 seconds added already at the end of the first half. More pressure on Celtic. Another tackle. Expertly judged. The Celtic supporters inside the new camp. 
are desperate to hear the half-time whistle. They're just half done. It's goalless in Barcelona after 45 minutes. Celtic have had to soak up an awful lot of pressure from the on-form home team. And they've just second half in the new Camp underway. Celtic looking for shape and organisation. And good challenges like that. Although Jackie McNamara looks as if he's hurt himself as he careered into that challenge to try to keep out Luis Enrique. And McNamara still grounded. Celtic with a good attack going. Pearson and Sutton. But it's taken away by Koku. McNamara is still down just outside the penalty box. And uh, now the match will be halted so the Celtic captain can get some attention. And it's looking pretty bad. Well, it's a sore one. The Celtic maybe just a little bit fortunate there. You obviously recognise Jackie McNamara was down, but they continued playing, tried to play on the break and, and, and score a goal. This is a challenge. There's a collision yeah. with uh, John Kennedy that, that caused the injury for McNamara. He collided with his own teammate and he's getting some treatment currently. That gives us a chance to hear more from Steve Archibald. Over Mars, a new threat to Celtic. Kennedy doing the defending, solid and safe. Larson, desperate to keep the ball. Chubby threads the pass through for Luis Enrique. It's John Kennedy again, another hero emerging for Celtic, but there's a long way to go, there's a lot to be done. Celtic have defended well. Squared by Ronaldinho to Gabri. Luis Garcia, the curling effort goes wide. For me, that was poor positional play from Alan Thompson. Obviously, not normally a left back having to play in there with the injury to Jackie McNamara, but he goes to the ball too early, leaving a big gap down that right hand side as Barcelona go forward. And if this is on target, it's a real problem for the goalkeeper. A gap to Marshall. And if you're looking for the final whistle, it's a long way away. We've played just over an hour, 61 minutes on the clock. And remember, if Barcelona score once here, then we will settle this one on silver goal. Away goals don't count double in extra time. In that instance, you play 15 minutes. If one team is ahead, they've won. If not, it's another 15. If it can't be settled at that stage, it's a penalty shootout. Great chance from Neil Lennon. And a surging run from the midfield by Stylian Petrov. Henrik Larsson on his left foot, shot on target, but a comfortable save for Valdez. That's the first time Celtic have been forward at all, second half. Certainly a half transfer for Henrik Larsson, but really didn't make the goalkeeper work hard enough down his throat. Gerrard's pass, Luis Garcia. And it was played too far in front of Luis Enrique, and that allowed David Marshall to get off his line and make the save, another valuable save. I tell you, Rob, this is... Gabri. That's well won by Stylian Petrov. He's having a very impressive slice of the game. Last 10 or 15 minutes, he's having a big save. But Celtic give possession away there too cheaply. Ronaldinho sneaking his way into the penalty box, and... David Marshall and Didier Gat combined to stop him squaring the tie. Good save again from the young goalkeeper. You see Ronaldinho there, he's trying to get the home fans behind him. But it was Henry last in that time that gave the ball away in his own half. And Ronaldinho driving forward, beating man after man. Chabi's corner, headed away by Lennon. Back it comes from Gabri. That's Stan Varga with the up and under. Chabi plays it back in. Ronaldinho, brilliant skills. Gabri's shot spilled by Marshall. And good play by Stan Varga to complete the clearance. It's a great chance from Varga. But they really certainly don't have anything going forward. Mind you, that was a tired pass from Philip Cuckoo. Neil Lennon. Henrik Larsson. 
Useful pass for Miller. No free kick. Chabi to Luis Garcia. Now Gerard started so impressively for Barcelona. Over Mars, pacey, elusive. Chabi onside. What a save! Sensational stuff from David Marshall to deny Luis Garcia. Unbelievable save from Marshall. Luis Garcia, he's onside. When the ball's played, there's no way he's offside. Tremendous stop to put it over the bar. Luis Garcia couldn't believe that, that he'd been denied. Barcelona have a free kick, but a uh, little more people inside the stadium still stunned by a marvellous piece of goalkeeping from 19-year-old David Marshall. Over Mars, chips the ball in, Alan Thompson wins the header. John Kennedy just lets it rip into the stand. That'll do. Kennedy in the BC is on side when the ball's playing. Watch this for a save. That's unbelievable. Great reflexes from the young man. What a game he's... It is a corner that he just can't get beyond a gut. Certainly have to concentrate now the set piece. Make sure everyone's picked up. Defend the second ball. In comes the corner from Chabi. Neil Lennon got his head to it. Over Mars, plays it back into the box. Petrov defended it well. Sutton's there, but he can't keep possession. And Ronaldinho has it. Celtic working so hard all over the pitch. In it comes from Chabi. Varga wins the header. Another brilliant save from David Marshall. Keeps out Sergio Garcia. It's almost unbelievable, this goalkeeping performance from the youngster. It's a great save again, it's two hands. Doesn't knock it back out to Barcelona player. Make sure it goes round the post to safety. More pressure from Barcelona. Varga heads clear. And Ronaldinho thumps it way over the top. Been Celtic and one of their most impressive ever European results. Steven Pearson, full of running, full of energy, gives it away at the end of the run. Chabi has it. Now Celtic have to track back. Ronaldinho to Chabi. Sergio Garcia, great challenge by Stan Varga. Timed up perfectly. Henrik Larsson gives it away. Marquez to another of the substitutes over bars. Barcelona have tried everything here to break Celtic down. Good play by Liam Miller. Gets it back from Momo Sila. Good short passes, simple passes. And Stylian Petrov wins a free kick and also earns Ronaldinho a yellow card. Yeah, Ronaldinho, you can see there he accepts that one. Apologises for getting the wrong frustration, I'm sure, from the Brazilian. That final whistle would be nice, but we're going to have to wait a minute and a half of normal time is remaining. There will be some stoppage time. It's high tension in the new cab. Luis Garcia to Ronaldinho. Through goes Gerard. Stan Varga has been a hero at the back for Celtic. Let's hope he can keep it going. Varga has been immense as well. Varga and Kennedy. Young David Marshall behind him. Over Mars, great first touch, poor second one, that lets in Didier Gat. Thumps it down the line for Sila. First there was Oliger. 89 minutes on the clock. Sergio Garcia stopped by Varga. Is that really the player who couldn't get a game for Sunderland? Stan Varga, who's... Uh, been reinvented by Martin O'Neill. This has certainly been a rock tonight. That's a great play from Skalian Petrov there as well. Knew exactly what he was doing. Won the ball, driving forward. Wanted the free kick. He's there, and that, that takes the pressure off Celtic again. It's important to Alan Thompson. Does with this one. Don't give that away. Try and play in the Barcelona half in the last couple of minutes.
There's Liam Miller. There's Neil Lennon. Nods it into the corner. Miller chases. Against Oliguer, there was grappling going on. Barcelona have a free kick. Seconds left of the 90 minutes. We're just about into stoppage time. You can almost reach out and touch the tension. Three minutes to be added to the 90. Foul by Ronaldinho and Larson. There wasn't too much malicious about it, but Celtic yeah. will take that happily. I tell you, Robbie's great refereeing again. Mr Messina from Italy, he's been immense today. He's had a great game as a referee. He's now saying the Celtic players got on with things. I'll just add on time if they don't. Just put it in the corner now. Don't try to play it back in the ball, just play it in the corner. Henrik Larsson won the header. Valdez drops on it and quickly throws it out to Marquez. A long ball downfield. Sergio Garcia waiting to receive it. Turned infield to Luis Garcia. Stilian Petrov nipped in in front of him. It's gone behind. Barcelona have a corner kick. And there was a clash between Sergio Garcia and Alan Thompson to get the ball out to the corner flag. Desperate for an equaliser, Barcelona. It's Sergio Garcia ricocheting across the penalty box. Steven Pearson takes it away. Celtic on the counter. Clever play from Pearson, shifting the angle of the attack. I can't believe John Kennedy's up there beside them. He's got to get back. And Henrik Larsson knew exactly what he was doing. He clips it off over Mars. Celtic have a corner. And that means the ball is well into Barcelona territory with just over a minute of stoppage time left. Celtic have to keep it there. I'm sure it'll be a short one. There's no way they'll play this one into the box. Henrik Larsson almost had a good towards the ball. They've got to be careful with the referee here. They'll add on time if Celtic try to delay it too long. And Larson and Sila unlikely to be stopped for speeding as they make their way across to the corner. I think Larson thought that was another corner, but it's been given as a goal kick. We're inside the final minute of the match, the third minute of stoppage time. If Barcelona are to save this, they'll have to do it quickly. Gabri with a tentative pass towards Overmars. Sila has it, now Agat, and now Larson. 30 seconds between Celtic and the UEFA Cup quarter-finals. Chabi fires it forward. Stan Varga with a positive header. Just take it to the corner. Steven Pearson, Stylian Petrov. Pearson again. Momo Silla gives it back to Pearson. Three minutes have been added. Celtic have beaten Barcelona. A star has been born in 19 year old David Marshall, and he is the man of the match. There's no question about that, Rob. He's been immense tonight. Tremendous saves from the youngster, great maturity. You can see the celebrations there with young Craig Beatty. He's my BBC Scotland man of the match, no question about it. A remarkable performance by Celtic. And they've taken one of their biggest ever European scalps. Remember the quality of the opposition in one of the finest leagues in the world. They've won nine games on the trot. There's a lot of raw emotion out there now. Martin O'Neill embracing Didi Agat. Every player a hero for Celtic. For much of the match, it's been a rearguard action. But Barcelona unable to break down the Scottish champions-elect. And Celtic see out the win. And the perceived wisdom, of course, was that Celtic would have to score in Barcelona to get through. That theory has been gloriously undone. A goalless draw does it for Celtic and Alan Thompson's first leg goal proves to be crucial and he gets a pat on the back from the manager as he heads off. An evening 
of almost unbearable tension at times for the Celtic supporters. That final whistle seemed as if it would never come. Finally, it did. And finally, Barcelona had run out of ideas. Outfought by Celtic and the form team of La Liga have been knocked out of the UEFA Cup by Celtic. And another European adventure continues. And what about the man of the match? Let's hear from him. David, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know where to begin with this interview. The calmest man in the place, chaos around us at the Celtic dressing room. How was that for you? Unbelievable, you know, it just, we just thought if we get a goal, we had a chance here, but to keep, to keep a clean sheet in the new camp was just unbelievable. That first onslaught, the first couple of saves you had, were your, I mean, you, you don't seem to have any nerves. Have you got any? I have got plenty, don't worry about it. Uh, well, it's just, uh, to be fair, the first half, it was at saves everybody was expected to make. Made a good one second half, so I'm just pleased to help out the team. You reckon these were the saves everyone expected to make? First half, anyway, I had obviously second half had one over the bar, it was, it was quite a good save, but yeah. Have you felt any pressure in the build up to this at all? I will in the hotel today, it was a long day, um, especially when you know you're starting. Um, but you've just, got to, you've just got to deal with it, all the lads have done for a few years now. The first guy to congratulate you coming up the tunnel was Rab Douglas, he might have trouble getting his place back now. Well, that's my job, isn't it? And Rab knows that as well, so I'll just push Rab all the way and hopefully uh, see what it lands, I think. I think we can have a look at one or two of your saves here, David. One from Lewis Garcia.